This is the business card for Dr. Alex Concepcion, Kaneohe, Oahu. Neck and back pain relief and lots of other wellness assistance. There's some more information about the practice here, how to contact them, how to read about the blog and some of the wellness information and guides. And here I am, Sifu Slim. It says, I am WOW, working on wellness, SifuSlim.com. And uh, I welcome your uh, input on my website and my two books, Sedentary Nation and The Aging Athlete, two different books that deal with physical activity, which decreased substantially when people left the farms and left industry and became more reliant on the conveniences of modern living. Now, how convenient is modern living if you wind up only exercising your thumbs and maybe your hands as they reach for that next um, piece of food or drink in the refrigerator. So um, Dr. Alex has lots of people who come in here to this practice because they have too much convenience in their lives and not enough movement. And sometimes it's when they go back to movement, like going on a vacation, lifting 70 pound suitcases or playing with their son or grandson in the pool, doing that throwing motion where the kids stand on your shoulders. That's a classic for winding up in the emergency room. Sometimes it happens in 10 minutes, sometimes it happens over the two or three hours that macho dad or macho mom is throwing that kid around. So I'm gonna bring in Dr. Alex and let him share what he knows about sedentary lifestyles and then reinvigorating the body through different modalities like a Qigong practice. That's right. So, um, yeah, most of what I'd say that, that uh, people who, uh, um, Come into the practice. It really is a result of like really not moving. You know, uh, eighty percent of it is like they're not stretching very much. Um, as we get older, as well, um, you know, we need to do more of this. You know, elongating and less of this. Although strength training is is definitely important. Um, Cardiovascular health is important, but um, you know, all the shortening that we're doing, which is pr just even more pr uh, promulgated in our culture through sitting, uh, computer work, uh, texting, all of that. Compressing and not extending and not putting weight on our body, just having the weight of our body kind of compress us down. Exactly. Um, and the thing is, is your musculature should be about 80% of what holds you up. Um, I don't know if some people know how ligaments and tendons and things like that work, but ultimately your ligaments are designed to attach bone to bone. Okay, um, They're not really designed to bear weight. And what happens is, and this is a NASA study, found that after about 20 minutes of sitting, um, your nervous system goes idle. Same way when you're at sitting in front of your computer and the screen, if you don't, goes to sleep. It goes to sleep. So we're not firing the electronics of our body, which is a normal part of the awakened state. Absolutely. And how this plays in with chiropractic and um, the spine and talking about gravity is that 90% um, of all the information or in technical terms, the afferent stimulation is coming to our brain, is coming from our spinal joints and even more so the spinal muscles, the deepest spinal muscles. And they're, they're telling the nerve, giving a signal to the nerve and then the nerve sends that up to the brain Right. and the brain responds by process and moving chemicals around with the help of those nerves and muscles and things that move it. Right. So without getting too technical, it goes gravity, muscles and joints, signals to your cerebellum, up to the brain, which then causes all your efferent or motor function to occur. 
movement, secretion of glands, cardiovascular, elimination. So all of that is tied into your posture and ultimately how it responds to gravity. Now that's pretty profound. So that's to say that your baseline electrical activity for freeing a human being relies on how we relate to gravity through our posture. So when you look at it that way, chiropractic really is into a, a different light. Now, most people will go see a chiropractor for neck and back pain because that's what chiropractic is associated with. Historically, yeah. but that's changing now. Which is changing, but as it should. I don't knock people for that. I know some chiropractors get upset about that. Well, we're more than just for back or neck pain. But look, pain in and of itself has become an epidemic and almost like its own disease in a way. And if you look at the epidemic of drugs to deal with that and the cost that's having on They run in tandem with the increase in pain. Exactly. So in that light, I say bring on people with neck and back pain because if, we, if I can help one person not go down that route, um, it's worth it. Now, what a lot of times you'll find is though, is as you're coming in and you're getting the adjustments because ultimately that is just an expression of something that's wrong. As you start correcting, the effect of that correction is a magnitude of order, meaning it's not just going to help your back pain, but also all the other hidden things that was going on with you that you didn't even know was happening. It, you know, you get adjusted, my back pain gets better, but hey, I'm you know not going to the toilet more than once a week. Or man, at my next. How, how common is that? That people are that constipated where they're only going to the toilet once a week in the modern era. It's very common, and people, you know, because it's taboo in Western culture to talk about things like that. You know, you don't hear that. But the truth is, is you know, my opinion, uh, once, twice a day is probably really preferable. Okay, to move the bowel. Uh, of course, variations, life, and you know, the bowel is so connected to so many different things that. You know, what, little, once in a while, constipation is not a big thing. But when it's like you're not going every, you go every three days or something like that. If, if nobody's told you, hey, that's wrong, uh, I'm telling you now, that's not good, okay? And a lot so of people think about peristalsis. That. So what comes in presses and then things come out. But I do a lot of intermittent and cyclical fasting. And it's when my body is ready and the healthy body with the, the mind and the spirit all working, it moves that without any food coming in. So maybe the food coming in is coming out of the places where it's being stored in my fats, in my fat cells, um, glycogen in my liver and muscles. So those things are coming out in the form of a molecule, which is a, 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 in, inherently what, are, what we're feeding off of, molecules of, of sugar, fat, and protein. And so when your system's working well, you don't need the food coming in to create the peristalsis of um, excreting. Yeah, and the thing is too, you know, um, a competent practitioner too should also be a somewhat of a primary care in the sense that um, a lot of things can be with back pain. Cancer can be with back pain. I've unfortunately had a couple of patients in my life, uh, time as a chiropractor, a brief 20 years as a chiropractor, um, where they've had cancer and they were having pain in their back. Okay. So how did you make transition from treating the things that you saw bio, um, um, therm biomechanically to transitioning into, um, did, you, did you ask them or did the doctor tell them that they had cancer and then, then it all made sense? Unfortunately, it was like uh, too late for a couple of the patients. Um, and also when you get to that point, um, uh, there's a lot of things you need to do to get yourself there. And unfortunately, conventional medicine has a very bad track record with that. So if the patient's not willing to look at you know, drastically changing their diet, drastically uh, following certain protocols, it doesn't sound good. But the good news is um, there's some really promising work that's been happening in Turkey in regards to just changing using uh, diets like a ketogenic diet, uh, repurposing certain drugs like metformin, for example, um, and uh, using a lot less chemo uh, that has been really uh, shown people in stage four.
could have actually reversed. And of course, promises of CBD um, and uh, cannabis oil also. Basically all things that starve it is what it is. But ultimately knowing that you know cancer is really an expression of toxins. And ultimately that has to be addressed in, in, in the person. But, um, but in, back to your question, you know, in the end, um, what we do um, in that situation, for example, uh, I'm very cognizant now when I have a patient and I do some nutritional assessment, but it's not my forte. Um, I reach out to a colleague of mine, Dr. Uh, Rolf, uh, Tate Rolfs, it's just down the street, Kailua. Um, and a lot of times we'll co-manage, okay? So, um, but back to my original point that, you know, sometimes the back pain is coming from something else and we have to address that. So you may have a chronic, for example, mid back pain that we get it adjusted, it's still sort of there. And we may come to find out, well, you know, you may be, your pancreas might be a little sluggish. And it's reflecting back. It's almost like a circuit breaker in your house. You know, if the appliance overloads, what happens to the circuit breaker? It pops. Mm -hmm. And that's sort of what happens to the spine. Pancreas out here, overloads, sends the signal back into the spine, a T6, T7 area goes out, and it's gonna keep coming back out, even if I put it back in. And putting it back in will help it heal, but what happens is if you're not changing the diet <laughs> and you keep offending it, you know, it's just gonna go back. So really a healing, ultimately, is if there's something offending the body, get rid of it, you know, then nourish the area, support it, and promote healing. That's really, you know, what you do. Remove the, what's in you know. So that's, we're gonna come back to you with more information in the next segment. So I'm Sifu Slim, and this is Dr. Alex Concepcion, and we're coming to you live from Kaneohe, Oahu. Aloha. Aloha.